Yo, what is up, guys, and welcome to my first YouTube video. And I hope you guys are excited like me. And this video won't be what you guys expect. It's not as good as what I can do. But I promise much better content in the future. And I hope these six tips are helpful. Peace. Today's first don't is to avoid building out a thatch, guys, because this is just probably all, almost all of you guys know this. Thatch is horrible. Dinos can destroy it. People can destroy it with pickaxes. So do not build out a thatch because you will get raided easily. The second do not do, guys, is to, of course, never build a big player because your hitbox will become bigger. You'll be an easier target for players and dinos. And if I had a bigger hitbox than what I currently have, that Baryonyx would easily hit me. So you're less visible, your hitbox is smaller, and you're just harder to fight. This third tip I'm giving you guys is probably the most helpful tip on this video, and it's also something you should not do, which is to not go on any other map besides the island when you are first a level one. Why? Because when you're level one, it's very hard to level up, and the island has clusters and clusters of explorer notes really compact and all together so you can basically spawn in and start spawning in places to get loads and loads of levels now number four is a little more straightforward just avoid wasting your time getting loads and loads of thatch and wood just to make yourself a thatch or wooden base because stone is much better so just go straight to stone and put all the time to stone number five guys is to have a good character that is good for any type of situation in arc what this means is do not exaggerate the amount of points that you put into one level or stat. Now, number fives do not do is to never have parachutes missing. You always want parachutes to be on your hotbar because they are good for any type of situation, whether it's transporting, avoiding enemies like dinos or PvP. Now, the last tip is very helpful in case you guys are doing this wrong. And what you want to avoid is to taint pteranodons with raw meat. Because just getting the prime meat is not that hard if you try. And it will save you loads of time and minutes and hours that you can be spending on something else. So that's it for today, guys. I know this was a short video. I made it short just so you guys can see what I can do. Trust me, I can do way better videos, but I just wanted to go out there and upload because a lot of people were requesting to upload. I mean, I'm already at 35 subscribers with no videos, so I want to keep it going up, guys, and expect way better content in the future. That's all for me today, guys. Have a great day. Peace.